This is Captain Mark Johnson from FloridaKeysFunFishing.com, and I'm here with the boys from Salt Strong. And today's episode is going to be how to properly tie your boat up to a mooring ball. Directly behind me is a mooring ball here on the beautiful Chica Rocks, and you can tell that we got a good bit of wind out of the north northeast at 10 to 15 knots. And so sometimes tying up to a mooring ball can be a little trickier than it looks. So we're going to pull up to this mooring ball. We have a rope already ready to go. And the one thing about a mooring ball is that most mooring balls have their own rope attached with a big loop on the end. So we're going to come up, grab their main line, run our line through it, tie it off to a secondary cleat, and then we're done. Another reason we use our own dock line is that it helps keep the barnacles and all the grass from making a mess on this boat. A lot of times the propylene ropes that have been attached to the mooring ball for many months and years, they're very dirty. So this also allows us to unhook when it's time to go without having to grab that yellow rope as well. Drive right up to it. Keep going. Okay, you can see the loop here. Okay, take it out of gear. You come right through the loop, you can discard that come right to the front, go around your stuff, tie it off here before it even comes tight. Keeps your hands and fingers out of the way. Now in this much wind you'll see how easy that was. Now this is going to come tight and be ready to uh, jump in and go snorkeling. Perfect. So now we're, on, we're getting ready to get on the go and head back in. And so one of the reasons why we use our own rope is that now that it's time to go, I only have to untie one side and we're completely free from the buoy. Just like that, you can let it go. It'll pull itself out. No hands, no fingers, nobody gets hurt. It comes clear out of that rope. Now you clear the mooring ball and you're on your way home. The object out here is to make boating as fun as we can and keep it safe. And it's subtle little tricks like we just showed that uh, help promote that. And that's important to everybody in the industry is keeping this as safe as we can. All right, any questions on how to tie your boat up to a mooring buoy or a dock piling, uh, feel free to look us up on Salt Strong. You can always find us at FloridaKeysFunFishing.com.